Hey everybody, welcome back to an Ed and Eddie Silver and Blue. Another HBO Hard Knocks Recap, Episode 4. Welcome back. Let's go! So everybody, after watching that fourth episode of HBO Hard Knocks, you know, we odd enough to say I think that was my favorite episode of all four of them so far. Yeah, last week's was pretty good, but I, I like this one probably a little better. Yeah, while it didn't quite have the cool drone shot, I think yeah. as a whole, like, it was a far more consistent episode as to what I like and what I'm used to. I think probably just due to it being the end of the preseason, you know, yeah. you don't have as much fluff to go along with the show. It was a lot more football, a lot more X's mm -hmm. and O's. Uh, it was nice to get away from all the, you know, where you don't have to watch vasectomy discussions and things like yoga that. Was like, yoga class. Yeah, it was a little bit of that stuff, but very little. Yeah, no, and, you know, even from, like, a basic perspective, I love seeing the kind of grind they have at practice, you know, being out in the hot sun, the fact that you can see professional players that struggle with the same thing, it's like, that's football, you know? Yeah. Across the board, doesn't matter what level, it's great to just see that X's and O football. I agree. Uh, we've talked about how HBO knows how to ranch, ratchet up the drama, and you know we learned early on it was kind of going to center on the the Alarcon and uh, you know Kamara, and they, they kind of brought on Hardy as well. You know, yeah. even more so lately, and and that was interesting and that was fun, especially in light of today's cuts. You know, I thought it was a little poignant, but but truth be told, you know those roster bubble guys aside. Yep. As much as I enjoy seeing certain snippets of guys like Alarcon's life, I just could be me. I could do without seeing guys like Hardy and, what was it, Hines eating, yeah. you know, food. I, I get it. It's part of the show, and I get it's part of the team, but I would have rather seen even Blake Jarwin and Dalton Schultz eating their lunch. Yeah. Okay? I, I don't think I we've agree. seen them once the whole show, and it's like, hey, they're starters You're and integral right. parts of this team. They really haven't Aren't shown them at all. watching them instead of... Uh, they've shown very little Dak, actually, as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and Dak is the star of the team. He's the, the face of the franchise. And they showed him just enough probably to meet whatever contractual obligations they needed. But yeah. generally speaking, they haven't shown Dak much. One of my favorite parts of them showing Dak, however, was him kind of hyping up that battle between no. Diggs and Cooper. That was fun. That could have been one of my favorite parts of the episode. I, I like the Dak moment better for uh, Prescott Pylon. <laughs> Doing the whole advertising. Dude, dude mapped out his whole campaign, dude. That was yeah. awesome. The whole marketing campaign. Coming I want to, in. Coming to a Pro Bowl near you. Prescott Pylon. That was cool. Oh, right, yeah, now we're guilty of doing what we criticize the show for. And one of my favorite parts of the episode is I love the team building camaraderie. I don't just mean like the one or two guys getting lunch or Dak and Zeke's bromance moments, but I love seeing the whole D-line go to a comedy club yeah. to build that with the coaches. Because, you know, it took me back when I was younger, me and the offensive and defensive line, we would go to sushi every Thursday after practice, right. kind of like a pregame ritual. Hey. And to see them do those team building stuff kind of like that, you know, I was like, that's awesome. Like, I love seeing kind of that team building, that camaraderie yeah. stuff you get in football. I did kind of like the family moments, though. You know, with mm -hmm. Kamara and his family, and, you know, Alec and his family. Ooh, Micah and Parsons and his family inviting oh, the boys over for that, dinner. Yeah. 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 That, that was cool. But, you know, that's kind of what I'm saying is, overall, I, that's why I really kind of like this episode a little bit more. It brought a lot more of the real football aspects. Like, the things that you really kind of only get when you play the sport, like the tough grinds and the summer practices. Ooh, yeah. The team building dinners and moments. Like, it's stuff like that that makes you fall in love with the sport, and they showed a lot of that in the episode. I I could see that. You know what else I actually thought was a pretty fun moment was at the end, Jerry and his oh, Whataburger. <laughs> Whataburger commercial. My goodness. How much did Whataburger pay for that segment? Oh, yeah. You knew they paid out the wazoo Jeez. to get that hyped up on. All right, Mr. Jones, uh, what? how much can we now, pay? Now, we're in Sacramento. We don't have a Whataburger out here. Wow. Somebody leave us a note in the comments. What's the big deal? Are they that good? We have in and out It's pretty good. We got five guys. That's my favorite. Yeah. But... Tell I mean, us about the Whataburger. Yeah, I personally, I don't remember the last time I ever had it. So, yeah, someone has to enlighten us with how good it really is. Because you made it seem like it was literally just <laughs> the king of all kings of burgers. Food of the gods. I know. <laughs> anyway, let us know your thoughts on Whataburger and your favorite burger joint. 
But also, thank you guys so much. We appreciate all the support. We appreciate the likes and the subscribing. But yeah, feel free to subscribe. And remember, everyone, hit that like. Because every time you do, an Eagles fan cries. All right, y'all. Take care.